This is question 15. Here we're told that OAB is a triangle. We're told that M is the midpoint of OA. We're told that N is the midpoint of OB. And we're told that OM, the vector OM, we're going to describe as M. The vector ON, we're going to describe as N. And then we're asked to show that AB, so this length just here, is parallel to MN. And the way that we are going to show that is by using vectors. Now, to begin with, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to work out what the vector MN is. So the vector MN, what I can say about the vector MN is that I need to get from M to N. Now, the only way that I can do that is by using the vectors that I'm given. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to from M to O. So MN is going to be from M to O plus, so M to O and then O to N. So plus O to N. What I'm describing uh, MO as, so MO, now if I'm describing OM in that direction as M, if I'm going in the reverse direction, I'm going to have to describe that as negative M. And then O to N, I really know what that is. I'm going in the right direction. So O N, I can just describe as N. So my vector M N is equal to negative M plus N, or we could also rewrite that as N minus M. I'm not going to worry about doing that. So there's MN. What I now need to do, so that's the vector MN. What I now need to do is write the vector AB. So the vector AB, the vector AB, I can say here that the vector AB is going to be the vector from A to O. So from A to O plus from O to B. So to get from A to B, I'm going to have to go from A back to O and then from O to B. So A to O and O to B. So first of all, what I need to figure out is, well, what is this vector AO? And the clue here is that I'm told that M is the midpoint of OA. So if the vector O to M, if we're told that that is M, then the vector from M to A, remembering that a vector describes a direction as well as a distance, so if the distance from O to M is being described as M in that direction, what I can say is that M to A will also be described, that distance will be described as M going in that direction. Which means that if I'm going from A to O, then this is going to be negative, because I'm going in the reverse direction, it's going to be negative 2M. Then, using the same idea here, I'm told that N is the midpoint of OB, which means that if O to N is N, then N to B, that vector, will also be N, which means then that if I want to now go from O to B, that's going to be plus 2N. So my vector AB is going to be minus 2m plus 2m. And then again, you could rewrite that if you wanted to, just by putting that as 2n minus 2m. So what I now need to look at and inspect are the two vectors that I've got. I've worked out the vector mn. I've got my vector ab. And I want to show that ab is parallel to mn. Now, the way that I need to do this is... The best thing to do here is to factorise one of the expressions. So what I can see is that this fact, this uh, expression AB will factorise to 2 bracket negative M plus N. 
So what that means, what that means, and if I think about this, is that the the M N and A B that they are parallel, and I can say that the uh, A B has twice the magnitude. So M negative M plus N that is the direction and distance from N to N. And what we're saying here is that AB is just going twice as far in that direction, negative M plus N. So show that AB is parallel to MN. Afterwards, I might just say, therefore, uh, M, uh, MN and AB are parallel. And I could also say, um, I could also say that AB is twice the length. So AB is twice the length of MN. I don't have to add that second bit, we're only asked to show that they're parallel, and I've shown that by factorising uh, the two expressions.